Let me have your ID then. So you're not even law enforcement. You're just a correctional. Um, that's all right. Yeah. You're, you're a correctional officer. But I can call the state police if you like. I mean, but you're a correctional. I'm to be, your your right. authority ends behind that gate. You right are at correct. this gate, your authority you are ends. You're just a regular civilian like me. And in upstate New York, those two correctional officers are regular civilians right. who do not know right. the law. So you don't want to give me your ID then? I'm not going to, no. Okay. Um, no problem. Right. I'll just you have no ahead. authority, sir. That's all right. We'll, we'll give some authority. This okay, confrontation in Malone, New York, 10 miles from the Canadian border, began when Sean Paul Reyes, also known as Long Island Audit, began filming the Franklin Correctional Facility from a public easement. It says, notice, the New York State Department of Corrections, the taking of photographs or videos on facility property is prohibited, except with the specific prior approval of the superintendent or in accordance with the New Yorker's Right to Monitor Act. So... That's why we're going to be staying on public property, right here on the public easement. We're not going to be going on their property. Within minutes, two correctional officers pulled up in that black pickup truck. Hello. Hey, hey, how are you? How you doing Hold today? On, how you guys doing today? Good, you? I'm pretty well. How are you? Too bad. What are we up to? Uh, just taking some pictures and video. Of what? Of the facility here. No. You're not allowed to. I'm not allowed State to. State property. No. I'm not allowed to take pictures in not video of the facility. facility. You can not walk up and down the road all you want, but you can't take pictures of our vehicles and stuff in the parking lot. The officers have no idea what they're talking about. Officer Gardner. Oh, so you supervisor? Yeah, I'm the supervisor, Compo? yes. Okay. Yeah. We so, don't, if you walk up and down the road, you can walk up and down the road all you want, but we have license plates and everything, and we don't know what you're doing with it. You understand? Yeah, license plates are public. Why, why wouldn't I be able to take pictures of the facility? Because it's a state prison. Okay. I'm not on you your property. To, you have to get authorization from New York State before you do it. I'm not on your property. That would be if I was on Where's your property. Where's your vehicle at? That, that would be if I was on your property. I'm not on your property. Okay, so let, let me have your ID then. So Reyes declined to show his identification. It's a civilian who's exercising his constitutional right. Okay. Freedom of press. So you don't want to give me your ID then? I'm not going to, no. Okay. Um, no right. problem. Uh, I'll just you have no ahead. authority, sir. That's all right. We'll, we'll get some authority. Okay. Thank you. You do what you need to do, okay? Yep. Take care, guys. The correctional officers left, called the state police, and then returned. Okay, young man, you have to step over the other side of the street, okay? This, this is state property here, This is okay? public property right here. No, this is state. You step over the, to the other side, please. You see these power lines over here? Yep. Copy that. That means it's a public easement, okay. sir. So that you don't want to go any, over there? Anybody anybody can walk on this side of the street, sir. Okay, that's fine. This is a public easement. That's fine. The state troopers are in route, okay? Okay, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. And you said your name was Sergeant Did Campo? Did you have any ID? You said your name was Sergeant Campo, right? Yes, C-O, no, C-O-M-P-O, Campo. Campo, yeah. Campo. You from around here, or? Oh, I'll, I'm not going to answer any questions. I'm just going to, okay. I'll answer one question. I'm an independent journalist. Oh, great. Nice. I'm gathering content for a story. Okay. Working on the story here out in uh, okay. Malone. That's that's great. Should be careful though with the snow and everything inside the road. I mean, I hate to see you get hit by a car or something. Oh yeah, no, it's, it's all right. It's not nice out here. It's fine. Where's it's where's fine. your vehicle at? It's fine. Oh no, I don't have a vehicle. <laughs> How'd you get here? <laughs> I walked. From local. <laughs> and with that, the mystique of Long Island Audit struck again. You couldn't walk from very far away. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, so look, these, these power or? lines over here. Oh, I'm not going to get into no, that's the a public, legality. That's, that's a fine. public utility. That's fine. At this point, Sergeant Campo realized he was in over his head. Okay, I don't. And we have a right. I'm not going to argue with you on that. It's not my place to yeah, do it. Yeah, because you know. But the thing is, you're not telling me who you are. I don't know. I who just you told are. you I'm an independent journalist. Right, but you didn't give me any ID to show me that you're a journalist or anything. So. Uh, just respectfully that I don't have to. Okay, that's, that's fine. It's my right not to give that's it to fine. you. The same way, you see how you're recording me? That's your right. You see how it works? It works both ways. While they waited for a state trooper, a deputy sheriff uh, then approached. I'm curious what you're doing in our parking lot. What are you videotaping? Um, who are you, sir? I am deputy marshal from the sheriff's office. Deputy marshal? Yeah. Um, you know, I'm a journalist. Okay. I'm working on a story on the Franklin County uh, Public Safety Complex here. Okay. In publicly accessible areas. Okay, I also see you were recording uh, the state prisons also. Yeah, correct. I already spoke with somebody. Over there? Yeah, I spoke with somebody Do over there. Do you have any credentials that I, I could show uh, for my administration? 
Do you have any credentials showing where you I, work? I don't. I don't have any credentials on me. I don't show credentials only because everybody, including yourself, deputy, we have freedom of press. It's a okay. right. Do you have country. any ID on you? I don't, I don't I give ID unless I, unless I have um, you suspect me of um, committing okay. a crime. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks. And deputy. where's where's your vehicle? Where are you headed? Are you? Going oh, I walked here. Now? I walked here. You did. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll let my, uh, my supervisor know. Yeah, sure. No problem. As the bewildered deputy stepped away, a state trooper then arrived. How's it going today? Hey, how are you, sir? Not too bad. What's going on? Oh, uh, nothing much. I'm an independent journalist. Okay. I'm just uh, working on a story All from right. public property. What, what's the story? Oh, it's on the uh, correctional facility oh, here uh, and this oh. public safety complex over here. Oh, uh, okay. So you're basically just doing the recording for that? Yeah, I'm recording for my story. I can't really get into the details until it's published yet, but... Where's it published through? Oh, through, through my website. Oh, okay. Yeah. The department policy here highlighting. Okay. You see, Sergeant... Uh, that, Sergeant that, Capo. Sergeant Capo. Yeah. That policy applies when I'm on your property. And as I explained to you before, I'm not on your property, so you have no authority over me. And that policy doesn't apply because policy doesn't trump the Constitution of the United States. I'm on a, what's called a public easement. Okay. Where all my rights are... Completely in store. Not breaking any laws. Okay. Not doing anything wrong. All right. Uh, I do have a report that I got to do. So mind if I describe your basic no, information? I'm not going to give my information to you. No? No. If you want, you can write your report, Good Citizen. Good Citizen? Yeah. Okay. Well, well, how do I look you up to get to the video? No, no. I, I can't. You'll, you'll get it. What's your name? Trooper Harrigan. Trooper Harrigan? Yeah. I'll send it to you. You okay. have a card? Uh, no, they don't give us cards. They don't give you cards? No. I'll send it to you. I'll make sure you get it somehow. Okay. But I'm, I'm not going to give my personal information, only because you don't suspect me of committing a crime, do you? Uh, no, you're on public property. You're allowed to do whatever you got to do. Okay. All right, yeah, you I know. Would just, I, would, I, would, I would just ask. Okay, so over there? Yeah. That's parking lot. Yeah. I'm public pub property, parking lot. Okay, so, public parking so lot. So try to, <laughs> try to stay on the road. A public parking okay? lot. Okay, <laughs> and stay out of traffic. Don't obstruct anything, okay? I'm not obstructing right. anything. Uh, and, and roads are slippery, so try not to get hit. All right? Sure, no problem, no problem. It's like I explained to him, he should have came to the facility, asked the superintendent for permission first, okay. and we would have been a lot easier. I'm, in okay. public, I'm on public property, and, and, and the trooper is explaining that to you now. Remember you said that this is private property? This is the state property? It's not. It's, okay. it's called the public easement. All right. All right, well, I'm going to go talk to him, yeah, and sure. you're all set to go do whatever you need day. to do. You too. The trooper then explained to Sergeant Campo that Reyes is correct. A public easement is public property, and Reyes can film whatever he wants. I tried to tell him that this is public property. Moments later, the officers left with one final effort by the state trooper to assert authority. I'm just saying you are going to stay off the property? Have a nice day. All right, you too. Mm. Even when an officer knows a citizen is in the right, there always seems to be a power trip. You are going to stay off the property. Well, good for Reyes to tell the New York State Trooper to leave and have a nice day. To be clear, the correctional officers, the sheriff's deputy, and the trooper stayed calm. But a calm and engaging law enforcement authority is not enough. Their job is to protect and to serve, and that requires that they respect constitutional rights. Law enforcement officers take an oath to uphold the Constitution. Engaging in polite small talk is fine, but that's not enough. Kudos to Sean Paul Reyes for educating these officers and reminding all of us that even in upstate New York, during a snowstorm, our rights still matter. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for watching.